dear students today we are going to see about the poem a photograph it was written by shaule talshan about the author the poem a photograph is written by shaule talshan she was a poet teacher education journalist and uh, editor in this poem the poet uh, she recalls her mother and her memories while looking at a childhood photograph when her mother was 12 years old she has been deceased 12 years ago and uh, she cannot explain her grief on her mother's loss let us see the line wise summary of this poem a photograph the card book shows me how it was when the girl sorry when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and see the big girl some 12 years or so this is very simple poem and this poem in these lines the poet looking at an old photo album uh, which is made up of cardboard in the picture there are three girls who are walking on the beach holding their hands each other so here in this lines are uh, paddling means walking the girl in the middle is the tallest and uh, oldest the other two girls on each side are younger than her the girl in the middle is the poet's mother the girl who is who was in the middle of the photo is the poet's mother she is around 12 years old when the picture was taken a next lines 5 to 9 all three stood still to smile through their hair at the, at the uncles with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less was the terribly transient feet in these lines the poet describes how the photograph was taken her mother's uncle took the photograph who has taken the photograph her mother's uncle the poet's mother's uncle has taken the photograph and told them to stop and pose all three of them left their hair wet hair open and smiled at the camera Uh, the poet's attention is down towards his mother's face which is described as sweet face in these lines poem lines the poet says sweet face the sweet face referred to a uh, poet's mother's face and the photograph was taken long before the poet was born the poet calls their feet terrible transient your transient means temporary short temporary or temporary as they were so young by then and now they had grown older on the other hand the sea which touched their feet has changed less and next lines are 10 to 15 some 20 30 years later see her love a snapshot see betty and dolly She had say and look how they dressed as for the beach the sea holiday was a past mine is her laughter both were with labor ease of loss after 20 or 30 years later she would laugh at the photograph after 20 years or 20 or 30 years after the photograph was taken she would laugh at the photograph she would tell me look at her cousins her cousins names are betty and dolly and how their parents would dress all three of them up for beach they would have planned to take a photograph the poet recalls the sea holiday was her mother's favorite moment from the past while the poet's favorite moment from the past was her mother's laughter here the poet says 
uh, her mother's favorite moment was the past the poet's favorite moment was her mother's laughter which she was seen in the, in the photograph both the women would think about the past memories which they cannot live again they tried their best to adjust to what they lost and next line 16 to 19 now she has been dead nearly as many years as the girl lived and of this circumstances there is nothing to say at all it silence silences so in these last few lines the poet says that her mother died 12 years ago and the same age her mother was in the photograph so when the photograph was taken at the time the poet's mother's age was 12 now she was died before 12 years whenever the poet thinks of her mother's death she cannot explain what effect she has of her mother's death death has silenced her mother which has also left her speechless so in this poem the poet uses few uh, poetic devices for example he has uh, used alliteration the repetition of consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive consecutive words uh, for example stood still through there and uh, my mother's terribly transient silence silences